Thank you very much for joining me and a happy new year on this New Year's Day. I'm watching this. This is Tropical Storm Alvaro. This is moving into Madagascar. More on that uh, on Earth QC. I'll put a link to that right at the top of the comments. Conditions are going downhill. Heaviest weather working in over the next 12 hours. Again, a link over to that, covering that in depth for you on Earth QC. So you can just click on that link. Now, I want to get to the earthquakes we've been having. I want to get to the cluster of earthquakes, a big one in Japan, unfortunately. Uh, last night, overnight. And this, this here was yesterday morning, a 4.7 in magnitude off the coast of Martinique and uh, Dominica, about 40 kilometers down or 25 miles uh, down. Now, we felt some shaking, uh, didn't see any, any damage, but a lot of us did feel this. So this is a new one that I'm watching. And then this here, this cluster that we had over the last 10 days, this was generally about a week ago. This was off the coast of the Dominican Republic. We were feeling some shaking in Puerto Rico. No significant quakes, no significant new quakes over the last couple days. This is where uh, we get that North Hispaniola fault. We get that collision of plates, one riding up over another. That's why we had the uh, cluster. Of course, there's been earthquakes. There always are, but again, no new significant quakes the last few days, but still keeping a very close eye on what we were dealing with over the last 10 days. This, uh, just terrible news. They had the impacts of a tsunami in areas. This over in Japan last night, a 7.5 magnitude quake, major damage. Here's uh, Tokyo, and again, this just off uh, to the northwest of Tokyo, shaking felt all the way across the region, uh, devastating uh, impacts. They're still getting the information out of that, but we're thinking of our friends in Japan with a 7.5 magnitude quake that hit last night. Just a horrific way to kind of ring in the new year. Now, getting back into the Caribbean, I wanna show you the dust and then get into the wide picture where the front's over toward the US and parts of Mexico. Uh, scatter clouds are on right now, dealing with some dust. Now, not a lot going on in the US. There's been some heavier weather that's moved into parts of California. Some moisture trying to stream into parts of uh, Mexico, at least some extra cloud cover, central Mexico, but it's gonna be a lot of mini fronts that will be working in. Now, as far as the dust is concerned, this dust not necessarily coming from the coast of Africa. We get some dust just kind of nearby, some drier areas that get uh, kicked up. Now, this here, usually when I show you this map where we look at the reds and the orange, that would be the dust, but this is actually picking up on a lot of the dry air. But it's these pockets here, you see kind of these reds are kind of uh, almost pink shading showing up where we have the dust. So we have a lot of areas of dust, especially in the east Eastern Caribbean. It is going to get a little bit worse Wednesday into Thursday. We're going to see another surge of dust. Some of that coming in across the Atlantic. I'll be highlighting that as we go throughout the week. Now for today, some spotty showers. Honduras, we've seen some rain the last few days, even some isolated flooding. As we work our way into tomorrow, the tail end of a front will move by the Turks and Caicos, and that's going to be the thing throughout the uh, coming week. I'll widen out the view in a second to show you this. Here's the tail end of another front that'll clip by the Yucatan and Mexico, Belize, Cayman Islands, Jamaica, and Cuba later this week. Elsewhere, just a spotty shower or two. Now, this is what's shaping up on the bigger picture as we track the fronts. This is as we work our way into our Tuesday system building near Texas, Louisiana, and North Northeast Mexico. You see it right here. That'll develop and move toward Florida and the Southeast US. And you see that front right there. That's what will slide into the northern sections of the Caribbean across the Bahamas. I'll be watching that. And then we'll see a few more fronts just like that. So mainly our northern areas feeling that cooler weather. And you've been leaving your comments with some of that cooler weather the last few days. Jamaica, isolated. We're looking at a 30% chance of a shower. A 30% chance today on this New Year's Day in the Cayman Islands. A 40% chance tomorrow and Wednesday in Trinidad and Tobago. Some scattered showers possible. Grenada, a 30% chance the next couple days. And a 30% chance over the next three days. St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Rain chance up a little bit tomorrow in Barbados. We're up to a 40% chance, a 40% chance tomorrow in St. Lucia, a 30% chance on Wednesday, watching out for some of the dust. Martinique, about a 20 to 30% chance of a shower and only a 20% chance in Dominica. Monitoring, of course, those earthquakes. Guadalupe, 10 to 20% chance, 30% chance
chance for today. Antigua and Barbuda, that would be a passing shower. St. Kitts and Nevis and Montserrat, 20 to 30 percent chance, a 20 to 30 percent chance the next couple days in Anguilla, but the rain chance is not too high at all. Just a slight chance of a passing shower. St. Martin, Saba, and Stacia, U.S. and British Virgin Islands, rain chance, about a 30 percent chance today, then going down Puerto Rico, which I clicked through pretty quickly. Again, only an isolated chance of a shower. Dominican Republic, 20 to 30 percent chance, a 20 percent chance in Haiti. It'll be on the warm side, but the nights we have been seeing a few uh, drop offs in the uh, temperatures, a little bit better at night. Not a lot of action in the Bahamas, not a lot of action in the Turks and Caicos. We are dealing with some choppy seas, though. Rain chance 10 percent in Cuba. Watching out for some of the fronts through the week ahead that will drop the temperatures. About a 20 to 30 percent chance of some showers today in Belize. Only a 10% chance in the Yucatan of Mexico, a 20% chance in Aruba, same thing in Curacao and Bonaire, and watching out for some areas of dust in the ABC Islands. Bermuda, especially later tomorrow, we'll see that front moving by. Rain chance will be higher. Costa Rica, about a 30% chance, a 50% chance today in Guyana, and then it will be spotty the next few days. Spotty showers possible in Suriname, and about a 20 to 30% chance across northern Venezuela. So it's going to be busy this week as we watch the the fronts and the dust. As I mentioned, the dust is going to be picking up. It'll get thicker midweek. Several fronts of the U.S. that will kind of drop by and clip our northern zones in the Caribbean. And I'll keep an eye out for any new earthquakes. And I'll monitor that cluster that we had last week to see if we get any more shaking in that area. I'll keep you posted on that. And again, I'll put the link to EarthQC at the top of the comments. Once again, have a good rest of your day and a happy new year.